In lesson four, we're gonna look at construction techniques on equilateral triangles. So first thing that we're gonna do is look at um, identifying what shapes are possible within the construction of a regular hexagon. So this is on page 26 in your workbook. So go ahead and pause the video and just look at it, see what are some things you notice, what are some things you wonder. Now that you've looked at some things that you've noticed and wondered about this diagram, could be a lot of things. Could have noticed this kind of flower looking thing in the middle. You could have noticed all these equi or all these congruent circles, seven of them. Um, noticed these intersection points here that are labeled with dots. Maybe may noticed some other intersection points out here that are not labeled with a heavier dot. You see this point right in the middle. Okay, so a bunch of different things you could have noticed and wondered today. What we're going to specifically focus on is um, these points right here. So the points that are actually bolded where you kind of see at the peak or the tip of the flower petals. And if we were to connect all of those, we would actually get this regular um, hexagon. And maybe you remember that back in, on page nine in your book when we actually constructed that a few lessons ago. So this is actually called an inscribed hexagon when a polygon or a shape that doesn't have curved edges is has a vertex on, every vertex is on the circumference of the circle. So we've got an inscribed polygon, that was a hexagon, this is an inscribed quadrilateral. Um, we also could inscribe a circle within a polygon. In the inscribed circle, you just end up with a circle hitting each side of the polygon once. And in the again, in the inscribed polygons, every vertex is on the circumference of the circle. So what kind of shapes do you see? So in 4.2, try and draw, um, and again, this is on page 26 in your workbook, and it asks you to just use a straight edge to draw at least two polygons within here using these dots, and then just shading those in lightly. So anything you want, any type of polygon, just get at least two of them drawn in there. Um, I will draw a couple in here for you. So here's a triangle, could have been one that you saw, and that looks like it could be a right triangle could have seen maybe a rectangle. Could have seen that hexagon that I had drawn on the other screen if you connected all six. You could connect just five of the points and get a pentagon. So there's all sorts of different um, polygons you could get drawn in there. So just draw at least two, shade them in. That was what you were doing in activity two. Then taking a look at um, activity three. So 4.3 is at the top of page 27. So you're going to, it says use a straight edge and a compass um, to construct at least two equal lateral triangles, okay? So on the top of page 26, it says, again, use straight edge and compass moves to construct at least two equilateral triangles of different sizes. So we saw some triangles um, in that last construction, so you could recreate that construction. You could, whoops, so you could recreate the hexagon um, construction. And the way that you would do that is just starting with a circle. So I'm just gonna start with a center, sorry, and then draw a circle from that. Then on that circle, if you um, just draw a point, then you can do a circle centered around that one. Okay, so, whoops, so you could set your compass on that intersection, open it to be the width of this original circle, 
and then every intersection point repeating that. So now the circle intersected here, so we could just draw another circle intersects here. So at every intersection point, drawing another set of circles will get you that regular hexagon. Looks like mine is off by just a little bit here because of the way that this drawing is. Um, but you should have it go just straight through that center there when you're constructing it. Let's try again. So let me erase this and do a better job here. Okay, let me just start with my compass and then I'm going to make this a smaller circle here. Okay, so then pick anywhere on the circle to um, start drawing again. Okay, and then just go to each of the intersection points and it should just cross right through. So make sure you get right on the intersection point to draw your circles. Each of these circles should go directly through that center, which is happening now that I've got skinnier lines. All right, and then if you wanna finish this off right here, you can. Um, you obviously already see the intersection, so you don't have to. Um, but that would be our construction of a hexagon. And now if you wanted to do an equilateral triangle, remember equilateral is equal side lengths. So you could just skip every other intersection on that middle circle and get an equilateral triangle there. That's one size. You could also maybe see it between intersections here, which is the radius of this circle. Then you've got the radius of this circle and the radius of this circle. So that's gonna create an equilateral triangle as well. Um, even actually using these big intersections out here will give you an equilateral triangle. So a lot of different equilateral triangles in that hexagon construction. But let's take a look at this little one right here. It's actually just formed by two circles. So if I were to just start and draw a point, get a circle around there, okay, and then on this um, circumference of the circle doing another one, so making sure my center is on the circumference of the circle. So if you want to draw a dot on there, you certainly could. Um, and then just set your compass on it and then draw a circle. So now you can actually connect these um, centers, okay, because this is the radius of this circle and the radius of this circle. Then we get a radius here and we get a radius here. So this will actually ensure an equilateral triangle as well. Okay, so could have done the hexagon method, um, could have done where you just draw two circles that intersect, and then we know because they were um, centers of the same circle. So our circles were congruent. Again, if I draw that, let me draw it on this screen with, um, a different, with two different colors. So if I draw it here, so we're just gonna make, and it doesn't matter, you can draw your radius to be any size. So then if you flip over onto this circumference, draw another center, keep your circumference the same length. So now when you go to connect these, this um, segment here is the radius of the blue circle and the red circle. Then this one here is the radius of the blue circle. This one here is the radius of the red circle. So they're all radii of the same of congruent circles, so it's going to be equilateral, making the signs all the same. All right, so a summary of this lesson is that we just used straight edge and construction, uh, or straight edge to construct lines and segments. So remember, lines, you just extend. Okay, so if you needed a line, you could just extend a line segment. Line segments actually stop point to point. The compass, again, always lets us make circles with a specific sized radius so that we can make sure that our lengths are staying the same. Um, and so, for example, when, a, when we construct a regular hexagon using circles of the same radius, 
then we knew that all of these sides were going to be the same because these were center to center or radii of each of the circles. So they'd all stay the same. We talked about what inscribed means, that inscribed polygons mean that their um, vertices hit the edge of the circle. So over here in this diagram, we see an inscribed equal lateral triangle here because each of the three vertices is on the circumference of that circle. We could also get that inscribed hexagon back on here by connecting all of these and an inscribed regular hexagon since all those sides are the same. Um, similarly, we could use this hexagon construction, like we said, to get that equilateral triangle. And we also looked at one other way that we could construct an equilateral triangle. Um, so as a cool down to this lesson, just make sure that you could do a problem like this. So it says use a compass and a straight edge um, to create an equilateral triangle. So any equilateral triangle you want, we're given this circle. So we would just want to um, put the compass on the, on the edge of the circle anywhere. And then we just want to make sure that we have the same radius. So we're going to want to open it to this center so that we ensure the two circles that we create are the exact same length. And then I need to make sure that I mark what I used as the center. Then you can just um, connect those. So connect center to center, center to edge, and center to edge, and you'll have an equilateral triangle. Could have gone this way as well. Okay, so could have gone down that way as well.